Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a great Chag, Ma'adim L'Simcha. I hope you're enjoying your family and the time to celebrate freedom and our loved ones. You know, the difference of what one year does from last Passover to this Passover. Last Passover, we were all alone. We were all ourselves. I remember thinking of my parents who were at home doing Pesach themselves for in their, the first time in their whole life and so many other people. But this year is different. We feel that there's hope, that there's light at the end of the tunnel. So many of us here in America are blessed that we're able to do Passover with our loved ones. Our elders have been vaccinated, our parents, our grandparents, and they're able to celebrate in small groups. Not everyone is that lucky. There's other places in the world, in London and in Paris, that they're in lockdown and so many other places. But we're celebrating this tremendous gift that God gave us. And this year when we said Dayenu in our home, you know, I always joke that Dayenu, which means enough, is really a message for the Seder leader, Dayenu, that, you know, how much can you eat already? We want the brisket, we want to move on. But I told my children that as we pause to sing the Dayenu and to thank God for the things we have, we need to think and, and, and sing a Dayenu for the gift that God has given us, for the miracle that we have survived this pandemic, that we have been able to be reunited with our families, that we are healthy. Yes, next week on Sunday, we're gonna say Yiskor. We're gonna remember our loved ones. We're gonna remember the over 500,000 people in America alone that died from this pandemic. And that will be a time to remember all those empty seats at the Seder, to remember those who lost a loved one that although their life might somehow resume, it will never be the same because their loved one is not there anymore. But today, Dayenu, we have to think about all the gifts that we have. And there's a famous question that we ask. If you think about the Dayenu, some of them don't even make sense. We say to God, Ilu, if God split the sea for us, but he didn't bring us through it in dry land, would that have been enough? What does that mean? What would it help us if he took us, if he split the ocean, but he didn't bring us through it? And the rabbis say that the meaning is what we're really telling God is that even if God brought us through, but we got wet, it was muddy, it wasn't dry land, it would be enough. It didn't have to be so so detailed and so beautiful as we went through the splitting of the sea. Not only did God split the sea, but he also made the land be totally dry. And the, the Midrash says that God had fruit trees grow for the Jewish people. So we're saying, God, even if he just brought us through and it was tough to get through and we had to slush it through, eh, it would be Dayenu. Even if he brought us to Mount Sinai and he didn't give us the Torah, it would be Dayenu. And the truth is what we're really saying to God is that... We want to realize to appreciate the small things in life. We always focus on the big things. We always focus on the grandiose miracles that happen to us, the great blessings. We buy a new home. We get a new car. We have a, ch I'm sorry, we have a child. These are big things. We marry off our children, our grandchildren. We celebrate those things. But how often do we say Dayenu and give gratitude to the Almighty for those little things in life? For the things that might be insignificant to us in the larger grand scheme of things, but in the, when you get into the nitty and gritty, they are blessings in our lives. We have hot water, we have showers, we have a home, we have food, we have a vaccine, that's a big thing, but all these things that go on. And that's why this year when we said that Yenu, and as we slowly emerge from quarantines, and isolation, and we get reconnected to see people, suddenly we have to think and understand and thank Hashem for all those little things. So yes, Sunday, this coming week, when we say Yisker and we'll have it outside in our tent, we will remember all those that passed. And we will cry for them. And we will shed a tear for lives that were lost way too early, for people that have lost their dear and loved ones because of a pandemic when they could have lived for many more years. Yes, we will cry for those people in pain and those people that are not there. And we will remember all of them. But that will be the time of Sunday 
Today and over Passover and over the Seder, it's a time of Dayenu. To think about those little blessings and to be grateful for the small things we have in our life. You know, it was very emotional when we came home the first day. On Sunday we went to Shul. It was a little chilly. It was damp. But we had Shul and we put up a beautiful tent to be safe outdoors with no walls. And there was about 60 people who showed up. All in masks, social distance, in order to daven, in order to pray on the first day of the holiday, in order to say the Hallel to praise God and to thank Him, in order to say the famous prayer of Tal, praying for summer months to come and the dew to start falling and the rain to stop. And we prayed the Birchat Kohen, and we had the honor of having a Kohen do the priestly blessing. And I looked around and I got up to speak and give my sermon and I was choking in emotion. I was crying because it's been, yes, for the high holidays, we did have a big crowd, but we had to do shifts. And this was the first time when I saw so many people in shul in 15, 14 months, nearly. It was emotional. Dayenu, I said, God, I'm thanking you for this little thing because it's actually a big thing. And may God give us the blessing to always be able to say Dayenu for the small things and to always realize the blessings and the gratitude in every detail of what God gives us. God bless you. See you tomorrow.